Hello and welcome everybody. Black Widow has been part of the MCU since Iron Man 2, yet very few people know the extent of all her superpowers. If you are thinking, but wait, she doesn't have any superpowers, she's just an assassin. Well then folks, this video is for you. We have seen Black Widow go toe to toe with Winter Soldier, who has the strength comparable to Captain America. She has fought the Ultron army and on top of that, when she received a blow from the Hulk in the first Avengers movie, she just walks it off without any injury, something that would have given a normal human numerous concussions. So there is more to Black Widow than she lets it on, and it is more than her combat skills. So let's get into it. But before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe for more. And with that out of the way, let's get started. We all know that Captain America gets his superhuman abilities from the super soldier serum that transformed him in the 1940s, but very few people know that Black Widow 2 has been enhanced by biotechnology and has received the Russian version of the serum aimed to create world-class assassins. Russians in those days were concerned with super spies rather than super soldiers, and Black Widow was a part of that super spy Red Room program. The serum that she received makes her resistant to aging and disease and helps her heal from injuries at an above human rate. This also makes her immune to most if not all infections, disease and disorders. So no global pandemic is getting in the way of her missions. Black Widow's agility is greater than that of an Olympic gold medalist. She can coordinate her body with balance, flexibility and dexterity. Black Widow received many years of training, making her a world-class athlete, gymnast, acrobat, aerialist capable of numerous complex maneuvers and feats, expert martial artist, including his skills in Jiu-Jitsu, Aikido, Boxing, Judo, Karate, Sawate, Ninjitsu, and various styles of Kung Fu, as well as Russian martial arts. And in case this proved to be not enough, she also has extensive training in weapons uses and espionage. Coupled with being proficient in various martial arts and having above human strength, durability and stamina, she also has a gifted intellect. And she is even capable of psychological manipulation as you would expect from a world-class super spy. In fact, there is so much knowledge that Black Widow retains and perfects that there is no way a normal human mind could hold it all. She speaks at least 11 languages, can hack the most advanced computers in the world, and has a mastery of body language so thorough that she could even fool the taskmaster. Her combat skills not only involve fighting techniques, but also the ability to process multiple information streams, such as threat assessment, and rapidly respond to changing tactical situations. And the best demonstration of that we see in the Captain America Winter Soldier during the famous car chase scene. When the Winter Soldier steps on the car and suits to kill, she anticipates and not only dodges the bullets, but also saves Captain America and Falcon. She knew exactly in which order Winter Soldier was going to fire and shoot at people. And we also see that she's an expert tactician and knows how to use battlefield to her advantage. And it is because of these skills of her that is being an effective strategist, tactician and field commander that she leads the team Avengers in Endgame. And she has even been the head of SHIELD on one occasion in the comics. To augment her combat and fighting skills, she also carries a slew of weapons with her, as she constantly ends up fighting guys more powerful than her. And we see her using her taser like a weapon to neutralize Black Panther in Captain America Civil War. In Avengers Endgame, we see her hold her own against Proxima Midnight both at the start of the movie and also towards the end. But what makes Black Widow an Avenger is her sheer tenacity to never give up, no matter how adverse the circumstances be it in the Captain America the Winter Soldier or in the Endgame, when she alone is trying to hold things together and keep the team working, looking for answers. And the best demonstration of her heroism comes when Thanos walks down on Wakanda and even after she sees how Thanos is dismantling heroes much more powerful than her, she still decides to go down fighting rather than watch by the sides. And that is mostly all, I hope this helps. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.